Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny Z's Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2011 Honda Life. Get a life! It's got 77,000 kilometers on it, which is about 48,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you see on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around even before you get your sofa driver's license there are benefits of doing it that way so let's have a look around i'll show the features inside but first i'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end i do go over a lot of information in my videos and that's going to answer a lot of your questions things like the jci the warranty the road tax i cover all that and more so please bear with me till the end you have all the answers if not please contact me or stop on by this honda life get a life is a four passenger vehicle in the four in the yellow plate category so the smaller category road tax per year is going to be three thousand yen which is about 25 dollars right now with the current exchange rate road tax is is due every april may time frame so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you you won't have to worry about the new one until next april or may now you do have two ways to pay for this first one being us dollars cash out right which could get you a larger discount or you take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down I guess we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. The rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to be a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. Okay. So normally, um, so they have this little uh, tag here. You want to keep that in a safe place. Normally it's a, a metal tag, but um, I guess this one does have uh, like this plastic tag. So you want to keep that in a safe place. That's going to help you. I believe it's the same thing. It's going to help you replace your keys if you lose them. So uh, keep that in a safe place, okay? So. All right. Sneak this in here. 77,621 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, that blue one up there is your temperature gauge. Let me uh, turn this radio off. Okay, it's got to load up first. Uh, all right. I'm just going to turn the volume off. Sorry, Troy. All right, so it's gonna be uh, blue when the engine's cool, and it's gonna stay on, that's normal. It's gonna go away when the engine warms up, that's normal. But it'd be red if it's overheating, that's not normal, you gotta be on the lookout for that, okay? Uh, that one down there is your emergency brake. Uh, this one is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, engages, comes right back on. And that one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. And you can see the silhouette of that H, that's gonna be the red overheating one, so be on the lookout for that, okay? Other than that, a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Off the left here, you do have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. Honda Life, the Honda Lifes are uh, some of the ones that have uh, the rear cameras. Then you have shifter, air conditioning controls, a uh, little grocery bag hook up to three kilograms, which is uh, six and a half pounds, and a non-smoking tray. You have a power outlet there, and this guy hanging out right there is your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. That works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you have your glove box over here. You have a little bit of storage on each door panel. Then that is your passenger space over there. You got your red rope flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on uh, my side. The seat is all the way back. And I've said it before on a lot of the Hondas, I just wish they would uh, move these seats back another two to three inches. They have the space in the back to do it, but for some reason they don't, so you're stuck with this. So I'm, I would say that I'm uh, almost comfortable with this. I could drive it as a daily driver and make it work, but uh, I wish it would just slide back a little bit more, okay? It does have an armrest here. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't uh, see anything past the windshield wipers like in most vehicles. 
And I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. It's graded non-accident, uh, or it's a non-accident car graded from the auctions up in mainland Japan. And this is uh, some of these other dealers who can't say that for all their cars. We can for each one. And some dealers are actually trying to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. But it's graded very high, 4.5 with a B and C on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade, very uh, clean car. That's gonna be up here on the sun visor so you see that for yourself and we'll also help you decipher it if need be. So let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So on each side of the dash, you do have one cup holder. On the door panel, you have another grocery bag hook up to three kilograms, again, six and a half pounds. Um, you have a tray underneath the steering wheel. So if you need some coins or whatnot, and a tray over here. Then this guy right here, that's gonna control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you have your uh, hood release all the way down here. And then on the door panel you have your uh, mirror, window, and door lock controls right here. This controls all the door locks, when the door is closed you'll be able to do that right from there. Okay, let's uh, turn this baby off and let's head to the back. So look at all this space back here. This is what I'm talking about, why they should have, uh, I don't understand why they can't just slide these seats back a little bit more. Oops, the phone's ready to fall out. So look at this. I'm a good uh, four to five inches away from the back seat to my knees. You, you can't tell me that they can't slide this back a little bit more. They obviously have the room, but they just don't do it. Anyway, um, four or five inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on either of the seat backs, but you do have one cup holder on top of each uh, door panel, and then no... Uh, center console or anything else like that because it is a four passenger only okay let's head to the back so here's your rear space now obviously you can recline these uh, um, uh, seat backs by pulling up this tab depending on where you need it and then if you want to go ahead and push that down you will have the extra space if you push that one down you have all the space open but you will have the hump here okay it doesn't lay completely flat Okay, and then it does look like it has the uh, the hooks there for your baby seats. Let's go to the front here. Show the engine compartment. We're gonna wrap this video up. So you got the big powerhouse, the uh, 660 cc engine, nice and clean. All right, and there you have it. 2011 Honda Life. Get a life! It's got 77,000 kilometers on it, which again is about uh, 48, what did I say? Yeah, about 48,000 miles. Uh, military prices on a 4,700. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4,500 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the new 2024 Rotax, and a 10% sales tax already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.